Well hello there, Craig the Scottish Guy here and welcome to my channel. I'm actually standing right outside Newark Castle, just on the grounds here. I walk about, I want to show you guys a little bit of the castle here. I'm going to show you the, the Pigeon Tower Yes, yeah, the old Pigeon Tower Just another view from the front It's actually pretty, it's a pretty small castle compared to other castles in Scotland, you know, Edinburgh Castle, Stirling Castle. The roads are really big. This is just a this is just a small castle. Beautiful nevertheless. So that's New York Castle. And it's actually right next to the shipyards. This is where all the ships get built here. Right into the Clyde. There's a reason why it's called Port Glasgow. This is the garden area here at the front. Try and palm up to the castle. Just at the top, Scotland flag. For anybody who's interested, these are the prices you have to pay to get inside the castle. Uh, it's a beautiful castle. Really, really nice. I think I have to head under this little tunnel area to actually get inside. Still a little bit windy here. The porter's lodge. Look how small these doors are. Now I'm only five foot seven myself, but I can actually walk right underneath this. My head inside. Hopefully. My wife has bought me a ticket. I've got to try and watch my step here. Right, let's head around this way, see if I can find it. Where my family is. Uh, I see them in here, so I'm just going to go and buy my ticket. Okay, so I just bought my ticket. I'm heading into the first room on the left hand side. The lady was telling me that the doorways here are actually 4 foot 11 because the average height back in the day was between 4 foot 9 and 4 foot 10. And this is actually a storage basement. It's actually quite small in here. That's the, the doorway over there where I came in from. I'm just actually on the rooftop of the castle. It's like a little terrace. That's a Scotland flag up there flying high above it down and show you. This is just like a little terracing park. A little bit windy up here. I'm going to try and show you guys a little bit of the view.
It's a castle down there. The front garden and the main entrance park. That's where the sign is telling you how much you have to pay. I want to show you over here as well. Have a look through all these little windows. Really pretty nice up here. There's a little bit over here. I think it's this window here. I'll have to double check. This part right here is actually called a pigeon tower. Now back in the day, this is where they kept the pigeons and if we were sending messages back to France, they would tie a little note onto the pigeon's legs and send it to France. Once the people in France received the note, they would then reply back their message, tie their little letter onto the pigeon send it back over here and that was how they used to communicate back in the day with each other yeah, by pigeon that's a pigeon just going to head down this long narrow walkway let's see what's in here oh, it's in a dark area which actually looks really creepy So I had to duck underneath the doorway there to get in. Like an old fireplace. Swivel round again. And I've got to say, it's actually very cold inside this castle. Cellar. Probably the wine cellar because of the private stair leading to the great hall above. Okay, maybe I should head up there and see the great hall. I just climbed the stairs from the wine cellar up to the great hall. So I'm guessing this is where they would do some of their entertaining. A lot of drinking wine going on in here. A lot of good times. Nice big fireplace with a staircase leading somewhere else. That was the doorway that came in. Okay, so I just left the Great Hall downstairs, came upstairs, this bit here is called the bedchamber area, you can see there's a little bit of it, under construction I guess they're just trying to fix the, fix the place up, and uh, I've got to apologise because I'm trying to vlog and do stuff well, I've got my son and daughter, and my daughter's asking like a hundred questions every time I hit the record button. She wants to know what this is and what that is, so I do apologise. Uh, I'm going to go walk here. I'm going to have to walk backwards. Plus as well, I'm out of breath because it's all stairs everywhere in this castle. You have to go here at the stairs, you have to go here at the stairs. And uh, the wind is just blowing right through the castle because some parts don't have windows on them and it's just really really cold here but uh, I'm just going to show you guys here as you can see they're doing a lot of uh, construction work here that's a wife that was the invisible Cheryl just uh, going to go over here 
So I'm not gonna, I know the area down here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna head in this direction, check it out, start recording. Cheryl's over there waiting on me. She's waving. There she is. So I'll try and record the best I can, let you guys see as much of the castle as possible without too much noise. Now the castle was actually originally built and owned by the Maxwell family. This is what it originally looks like. Um, let me try and show you guys where we came in. This is where we paid to get in. You walk in through the tunnel and you go right through. The gate was here with a sign. This whole main wall that surrounded the castle and these little hut areas, they're all gone now. Uh, earlier on I showed you that I was at the top here with a Scotland flag and the pigeon tower is just at the back. It says the castle was actually built in 1478 and it was owned by Sir George Maxwell. Just showing you some of the... This is the area we're in now. The bed chambers. It was built in 1478 and it was owned by Sir George Maxwell, who was one of the richest men at the time in the whole of Scotland. <sighs> now, Sir George was actually real friends, very friendly in fact, with King James IV. And King James IV liked the castle so much that he extended a part onto the castle himself, so it basically became two castles in one with the Maxwell family living in one section and King James IV and his wife and family living in the other section. Narrow spiral steps. It's not that many here, but we've been up and down these all throughout the castle. Yeah, but everywhere you go, there's these small spiral staircases. Will you catch me if I fall? Sure. <laughs> I sounded confident. <sighs> Just to show you, I don't know if Craig showed you earlier, but that's what those looked like. That was fun. So this play back in the, the hall, or the great hall, as it's called. There's nothing here to say about any of this stuff, Liz, but... Probably shouldn't sit on it, really. Better do it to me. You know, have a rope on it. Okay. This <laughs> isn't from that time period. This is just to re recreate it. <laughs> so we can just go have a picnic over there at the main that. table, then? Right there. We should have had for lunch. Yes. <laughs> Had to go up another spiral staircase to get up here. Craig had to go get the baby for a second, so I'm going to show you guys around. Does not say what this room is. This room is the gatehouse chambers, part of the original 15th century castle. To show it as best as I can. Looks like there's a fireplace. It's got a wood ceiling and wood beams. It's kind of a creepy little whole closet room behind me. So I don't know if I'll step in there. Oh, it says latrine closet, so that's the toilet. <laughs> Wouldn't have liked to have gone into one of those back in the day. See what's out the window. That's where we walked into to buy uh, the tickets. So I just signed the guest book, and there's only one thing left to say: mission accomplished.